Hello and welcome to the HomeQuest tutorial. This is Shilpa, the creator of the HomeQuest software. Now, today we'll start with some tutorials on cases. So we will be actually solving cases um, using HomeQuest and see how it's done within a clinical scenario. Now the cases I've chosen have been collected from a number of different sources. I've typically used cured cases which are um, already published on the internet. So, for example, the one I'm choosing today is by Alan Arthur. It's taken from the homeopathy case archives in HPATHY. Now, the reason for using a cured case, which has been published before and it's known and it's easily accessible to everyone, is simply for the reason that we can actually um, say for ourselves how using rubrics and working the case analysis you can actually um, compare the results and see how HomeQuest actually works through the whole process. So um, it's another test as well to um, also understand the way um, HomeQuest works and how far we reach using the rubrics in the repertories today. So this is your case. It's um, a case of severe iritis with contracted pupils in posterior adhesions and exudation in the lower part of the pupil, so quite a severe case. The main symptoms I have actually extracted from the case based on um, normal homeopathic analysis is hot lacrimation, so I've used the PQRS individualizing factors in, those ca in the case. Hot lacrimation, the eye pain which was severe at night, eye pain warm ameliorates, eye pain as if something scraping the eye from inside her lids, restlessness with pains at night, offensive breath, the tongue is thickly coated, desire for cold drinks, thick profuse saliva. So we'll try and work these out using our um, search engines and repertorization table as well as the quest, quest analysis as well. Okay, so normally I start with the repertory search. Um, I directly use the search engine to find and select my known and unknown rubrics instead of going to the repertory browser and trying to work out each repertory section separately. So I'm here in the repertory search by just clicking on this tab and I put in the first symptom, the tears, which are hot. And there you go, I have a few rubrics to choose from. I'll choose the biggest one tears hot in the eyes in the complete repertory and start my repertorization by just double clicking. So there you go, you have the symptoms and the, sim the rubric entered in the repertorization table just down here. The second one I choose is the warm ameliorate. So I warm ml. I'm creating a space between all words and I'm using part words. Search. So there you go, a big enough rubric, form ameliorates, so I'll just take this. The third symptom is um, the pain at night, so I pain night. Okay, I get the big rubric right at the top here, I'll use the complete repertory because it clicks um, all the rubrics from most other repertories and collect them together in one large rubric. So I choose this one. The fourth symptom is eye pain. Sorry, the breath is offensive. So we take okay, offensive breath. Odor is offensive, so we'll choose this one. Okay, and the fifth rubric is the thickly coated tongue. So thick coating tongue. I'll choose the first one, it's the biggest one as well. So there you go. And just so you can have a look at the rubrics coming up and the repertorization gets updated as we go. So the thirst for cold drinks. OK, 
Okay, you have rubric here, thirst cold drinks for. I'll try and choose. No, it doesn't emulate. Uh, there is a desire for cold drinks as well. I can use this rubric, which looks big enough. So I'll use this one. Desire drinks for cold. So if you can see, I'm using a combination of different repertories as well. It doesn't matter. It repertorizes them all together. So I used NER and I used, I used Kent in between as well. But as long as they're Kent in repertories, I don't worry. I might just um, use the Bonninghausen repertories together and the Kent in repertories together. So the next rubric is saliva is quite thick. Saliva thick. get the first two brick the lava thick and that's what I use and the last two brick we take is the profuse saliva so saliva profuse enter and then we choose the most appropriate rubric here so I'll just scroll down there you go I found it in there saliva profuse and I double click it so that is a repertorization 